Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we're going to go over this document that I wrote for training, uh, setting up local training uh, for the neural amp modeler on your home PC. Um, this is just like running the Google Collabs thing, except you're actually running all of the processes are running on your computer with your graphics card and your CPU. Um, so you could do this if you have a GTX or RTX, like, uh, you know, NVIDIA graphics card. Um, you can actually do it with like a 960, which is like their older ish cards. It'll work on that. It's just that it'll take longer than, uh, the collabs will, but the benefit at least is that it never times out like Google collabs can time out sometimes. And, uh, that'll kind of, you know, stop you halfway through your progress. And that kind of sucks. So running this locally, even if you have kind of a, a, a medium grade or a low grade, you know, CPU or, and, and graphics card, as long as it's an NVIDIA and it's like a RTX or a, a GTX, you're good to go. So yeah, it's worth doing. All right. Um, you're going to install two programs, the Anaconda uh, program and the Git program. These are in the document. The document is in the description at the bottom of the video. Um, I'm not going to run through those because we don't, you, you know, I hate when videos do that, when they make you sit there and watch them install a program. Just install these two programs. When you install Git, you'll have to hit next like 10 times. You could just click through next. Like you don't have to read any of it. Just hit next and it's all good. Uh, but after you're done installing Anaconda, there is one thing that you might want to change, and that's uh, allowing it to run as admin all the time, because otherwise you run into errors when you're halfway through doing some of this stuff, and uh, you can't finish. <laughs> so uh, either, every time you start Anaconda, you either have to right-click it and run as admin, or you can do the thing that I'm about to show you right now. So you would open up your uh, file explorer, then go to this PC, C drive, program data, which is right under the program files 86. We're going to program data and then scroll down and look for Anaconda 3. You want to right click this folder, go to properties, go to the uh, security tab, hit the edit button. And then in here, you want to select users and then hit the allow checkbox hit allow and hit apply. When you do that, it's going to start like, brrr, like running through like, I don't know, like a couple hundred or whatever, a bunch of stuff. And it's basically just rewriting the permission saying it's okay for this to be run as admin every single time I run this program. That's what you're doing. All right. So once that's done, you can actually start up Anaconda. Oh, actually, you know what? We need to uh, make a desktop, uh, folder so you can do this on your desktop or if you don't like doing it on if you if you want to keep your desktop clean you you might want to put this in your my documents folder uh just anywhere that's on your c drive we have to add a new folder on your c drive somewhere so i'm doing it on the desktop so you can just here I'll actually do it on the desktop desktop to make it uh official all right so you just right click go to new folder and i'm just going to call this nam all right, so we've got this folder now. Double click on it to open it up and then click on this to highlight the, uh, the address bar so that it's highlighted and hit Control C or right click it and copy it. And uh, we're gonna need this in a second. Uh, now we're gonna start up Anaconda. So I'll just start this up and this is what it looks like. When it first starts up, it's just a black screen. This is Anaconda. It's a, what you would call a, uh, a terminal. Uh, this is like command prompt, like your Windows command, CMD, you know, same thing pretty much. It's just a different uh, way of doing the exact same thing. <laughs> um, so we're going to do a CD, uh, as in CDs nuts, and we're going to paste this uh, C drive users, yada, yada, the thing that we just copied from that folder a moment ago and just hit enter. And that's going to change the directory here. Now it's looking inside the NAM folder. That means like whatever Anaconda is going to do, it's going to do it based on what's inside that folder, or it's going to do things to the inside of that folder. That's the whole point of this part, if you care to know the explanation. <laughs> All right. The uh, next part, uh, we're going to run this uh, git clone script. This is on uh, page four, I think. So you just copy this whole thing and, you know, control C to copy it. And then we'll go back here and we're going to control V to paste it and hit enter. 
And this is basically, it's creating another folder inside of the one that we just uh, created a moment ago, this NAM folder. It's created another folder called neural-amp-modeler. And inside here, there's just a bunch of script stuff. You don't have to worry about what's in here, really. Just know that if you got this folder to show up, then you did this step right. That's all. Um, but actually, what we're going to do next is CD uh, change a directory into this folder now. So if you don't want to type it, you can just go into my document. It's at the bottom of the same page here. This CD neural dash amp dash modeler. Control C on that and then go here and control V to paste, hit enter. We're now inside the neural amp modeler folder. So we're gonna run the next thing, which is right here, conda environment, well, it's env create, yada, 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 yada. What this is gonna do is it's basically gonna create a, what's called a virtual environment. And this is where we're gonna pull in all of the stuff that neural amp modeler needs like the, uh, the, the CUDA cores, like just a bunch of programmy shit. We're gonna tell it to pull all that stuff in and put it where uh, this script here tells it to put it. All right, so you just hit enter. Well, we're, we copied and pasted that from the thing. You just hit enter. And uh, so this is gonna take a little while. It's gonna be kind of like doing a lot of thinking. I've done this a couple of times now on here, so it's gonna move quicker for me. Uh, but it's still going to take a, a minute or two. Uh, but for you, this could take 10, 20 minutes for it to install all of the stuff. Like it has to install a bunch of things and it might try to update some things. So at first you might want to kind of hang out in front of your computer because you might have to hit yes on one or two things where it's saying, oh, I've got an old version of this. I'm going to make a new version and you have to hit yes to you know get it to keep going, like to keep working. It's going to stop until you hit yes. So... Uh, for that first part, pay attention. But eventually this is going to get to a point where it starts like running all of these, like you'll see it's like loading and installing and it's like doing little hash marks across the screen. Like that part takes forever. You just have to be patient and just let it do what it's going to do. Um, like I said, it could be like 20 minutes. So I'll fast forward through the, this part for the sake of the video, but uh, just so you know, this is the part where you kind of take a break. All right. So here we go. Fast forward. Okay, cool. So like I said, mine is not going to, yours is going to look a little different. And, uh, but it, regardless at the end of both of ours, uh, you're going to see this area here where it says done. Yay. And then it's got this other stuff that says to activate the, activate the environment, use this. And then to deactivate the environment, use this. So I know this is weird to look at these hash marks and the dollar signs. And it's like, what the fuck is all this? Basically what nerds do is they put a dollar sign in front of something when they mean it is a command. So whatever, there you go. There, there's your nerd trivia for today. We're basically going to type this in. Uh, you can actually copy it from my, uh, my nice little uh, document here. So we've got conda activate NAM. So you just, do that, control V, enter. And you can see it changed from saying the word base here to the word NAM. So there you go. What this means is we are now in the NAM virtual environment. That was the whole thing that we just ran a second ago. That's what this is now saying. We are using all of that stuff we just did. All right, so once we're in here, all you have to do is type NAM, N-A-M. You hit enter. And that's going to run the uh, the trainer GUI. And it's appearing off screen for me, but here you go. This is it. This is the GUI. So this is basically the Google Colabs, but on your desktop. Uh, you don't have to drag into the whatever. It's a slightly different process. And I'll go over it briefly here, but I am going to make another video where I go into how to use this more thoroughly and like I'll go into like what you should do in your DAW and how to reamp and gain staging and all that stuff as it is another video. Uh, but basically, if you watched the easy mode video, you might be able to figure this part out for yourself uh, until I put out that video. Uh, so these are buttons. You just hit input audio. You just click on the word input audio and it's going to bring you to a folder and you just want to go and 
establish where you're going to put your NAM stuff. Uh, this could actually be anywhere on your computer. This part doesn't have to be in your C drive, but for the purposes of the next video I'm going to show you, I'm going to have everything on the C drive. But just so you know, you could put this part anywhere you want, and it's not a big deal. It's not a lot of data, so if your C drive is almost full, you don't really have to worry too much about it, but whatever, you do your thing. Uh, but yeah, just basically saying these are buttons. You click the buttons. Uh, this advanced options button is going to be where you establish how many epics you're going to run. By the way, epics, got it. Uh, you could, you know, type in a thousand here. You could type in 10,000, whatever. And I'll show you there's a command that like once you get your uh, score low enough that you like it, I mean, you could put a million in here and run it and it'll run to a million. But if you're sitting there watching the score, you can actually do like a control C will stop the whole process and spit out the model from that point right there, which is pretty cool. So yeah, next video, uh, just uh, for now, just pat yourself on the back that you got through this and uh, you know, patiently wait my uh, next video if you can't figure out the, the rest of this based on the other video. All right, um, and if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask them in the comments of this video, but I think the best thing for you to do would be if you would join the, uh, the, the Neural Amp Modeler Facebook group and ask there because there's people who actually know what they're doing. <laughs> And they could help you a lot better than I can. Um, I barely scrapped this together by myself, uh, you know, a day or two ago. So I don't know this stuff. I'm just basically repeating the exact commands that I was given by other people. Do it this way, do this, do this, do this. I'm just trying to put it all in one spot in a streamlined way so that other people can kind of, you know, just follow the exact same commands, but maybe in a, in a more clear way. So hopefully this video helped. Um, join the group. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Take care. See ya.